Hey y'all, welcome to Texas Garden Guy Tool Reviews. All right y'all, today we're gonna set up the Petra Tools HD 1200. This is a 12 gallon sprayer cart. Uh, very excited. I usually have to fill my sprayers up a couple times. So uh, 12 gallon capacity is gonna really uh, save me a lot of time. I'm gonna go ahead and pop these straps off. Get this bad boy unboxed and charged up that way I can use it tonight got our manual right here Wow this thing is awesome come check it out so it's got this awesome 12 gallon tank and this really long wheel so you don't have to pull your cart as often uh, this will actually give me the ability to not only uh, use this in my yard but then if I uh, have friends or uh, my buddy Jorge at his nursery I can take this over here set it at the beginning of the greenhouse go all the way down and come back so this is gonna be a game changer so we got the package right here this is gonna have all your nozzle fittings it's got several fittings that come with the actual sprayer you got your handle right here um, this is my favorite uh, attachment this is an adjustable like rain head i really like that one uh, this one would be like uh it's got two nozzles, so if you're doing like a foliar spray, like on trees, trying to really get up there, uh, might really help out. And you got a bunch of different adjustable nozzles in here. Um, this is for like priming and uh, all kinds of stuff. You got your charger, all kinds of good stuff. We'll go through the bag here in a little bit once we get it out and set it up. Whew, almost fell. Let's see how heavy it is. Oh, it's not bad at all. Actually, not very bad out look at this wow this is a freaking game changer right here man don't look at those tires are they oh, those are solid those are solid tires wow so i thought that they would be uh, uh ones you had to air up but they are solid rubber and those aren't cheap so that's really awesome this is the battery pack right here i'm gonna bring you on closer make sure you empty the entire box this is the uh the hose wand super neat i love the way the wands actually swivel they have a swiveling end on the wands i really love that there we go so got the strap holding the tank onto the cart as you can see um, it's got a big wide mouth on top it even has like a filter to kind of uh get any particles or whatever they might get caught up in the pump while you're filling this up they do come pre-primed usually uh, but we will go through the process of priming this just in case you have issues like that so this is the petra tools hd 1200 it's a 12 gallon tank it has a, a built-in cart like i said with these solid rubber tires no air no need for an air pump i really love that um, then you got your battery pack right here this is the uh, the control power. This is the power for the actual pump. Let's see, you got the battery there. You got the voltage indicator here. Um, you got the on switch. You got the charging port. So the way it works with Petra sprayers is if uh, you want to adjust the pressure. Oh, it's already charged. And so you want to do an adjustable pressure. The PSI, you can adjust it there. Or you just go max, and that's full pressure, the max PSI. This also has an optional USB charging port in case like you were on a job doing something and you need to charge your phone, I guess. Uh, makes sense. Then you got a fuse um, and this should be pretty watertight. And then down here you got uh, another little compartment for extra gaskets. You have like a leaky hose or anything like that, which is kind of neat. I like that. You can, see, you can see the drain as a low point where if you want to just empty out the tank with whatever you got, you can drain it out. And it's got the... Uh, the indicators right here for the levels i think those are in liters on this side it should have gallons yep you got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve gallons and you could actually probably put another gallon in here i was trying to leave a little bit uh because when i'm using like insecticidal soap or anything like that it's going to foam up so this is actually really nice uh right here all right, so there's only one problem I've seen so far, and it's not really a problem. It's just kind of an inconvenience. They put a bunch of this bubble wrap 
on the uh, actual sprayer and it's making it a real pain in the butt to get it off because they put it together with the bubble wrap on it um it's in a big box so i don't know if they, they, they need this much bubble wrap it looks like the cage and the tank and everything were bubble wrapped beforehand um i think i can get it all off without taking the whole thing apart um, but it's kind of a pain you look on i took this side off and it was a little easy but this side um you know it's kind of a pain you see how it's like all it's connected i would have to take this off and then pull the tank up it's all wedged you know so i mean that's kind of a pain um not really a, an issue with like quality or anything it's it's just a little inconvenient uh, but other than that i mean everything else is great i'm gonna work and get the rest of this bubble wrap off and i'll be back in a minute all right so i got all the bubble wrap removed um so the handles have these little locking buttons right here the handles they have the little locking buttons and you just uh set them in here and then you push them down those lock in the handle ain't going nowhere uh you got the hose reel which is my favorite thing about this uh the hose reel uh, the hose reel is going to save you so much time uh, i believe there's a a handle there's a handle that goes right here we're gonna put this right here Screw it down, tighten it up. Actually came with this little neat uh neat little tool. <laughs> I kinda like it. Um it's got the screwdriver built in, a couple nuts and stuff. And uh we'll use that to tighten this down. I think that's the right one. Oh there we go. That's kinda nice. I forget what it's called, like on a chainsaw when it's got a chainsaw and uh the screwdriver. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, it's a nice little handle, and it's not hitting the tank. That's what I was I was concerned. I was like, is it going to hit the tank? Nope, it is perfect. I really like the O-rings that they use on all their uh, all their hoses and fittings. We're going to take the. Uh, it, I mean, I I don't even really use the. Uh, I don't even really use the uh, Teflon anymore with these little O-rings. They're actually really nice. Uh, so we're going to take the handle, which has got a lock mechanism. So if you want to lock it in place and hold the nozzle down you just flip that bad boy up and it, it holds it down uh, you flip that down and it opens up so it's got like a little safety mechanism on it a little bit for the nozzle so take that guy screw him down um i will use teflon here plastic to plastic uh brass to brass you don't really need to in my opinion uh I'm sure there's other people up there that will disagree with me uh we'll take out some take out some teflon Thank God, I don't know why when people make uh, parts and make uh, merchandise that requires Teflon, why would you not send Teflon? So I really appreciate companies that actually send Teflon tape because I always have to hunt around and find it. So uh, if it actually comes with Teflon and you need Teflon, that's awesome. I love that. And this is way more than you'll need. Uh, I've, I've had um, another product that I got. It was like a shower head or something. And it came with like a little bitty, just, just enough teflon to, to make it work now it's fine but this is way more than enough and i'll take it gladly it never fails that when i'm doing a video someone's out in their yard mowing or weed eating or something it never freaking fails or some kids riding a dirt bike or a go-kart it never freaking fails so we'll do three wraps i'm a textbook over wrapper now we got our wand we're going to go ahead and connect it to our trigger switch i don't know what you call this trigger switch call it a trigger switch i really like the uh feel of their handles their trigger trigger switches go ahead and tighten this guy down don't want to go too tight um because you can pinch the o-ring that's on the inside of this um there's no o-ring on this uh you don't want to over tighten the plastic fittings because these are plastic uh, you don't want to over tighten it and break something so just go snug you know kind of torque it yourself <laughs> and then we got the end so this has a built-in o-ring they use these green o-rings which i really like because they're easy to like if you drop them they're easy to find uh, so my go-to head is this one it's adjustable 
Um, I use this most, pri primarily I use this one. We'll put a little Teflon on this guy too, just a little bit. I, I have had a little bit of leakage on the end when I don't use Teflon on this one. Um, actually, you know what? No, it's got the O-ring. We should be fine. Sometimes I feel like the Teflon makes it worse sometimes. Uh, so we'll just go right here, snug it up. Uh, I really like their wands because you can, if you're spraying, you know, my traditional method, hold is like right here Tr uh, trigger down head down uh, but sometimes you want to get under the leaves and it doesn't loosen up the head it just uh, toggles so it's really nice oh is this extendable shut up holy crap wow I did not realize that I extended the wand about I've got another sprayer I wonder if that does that too I never knew uh, that's about a three foot wand there boom you can really get up there and you know uh, get to some. Wow, I like that. I didn't realize it did that. Cool, I like that a lot. So it came with some other heads. This is a really nice one that I've used before. Uh, this one is more of like a uh, a mister. Uh, this one is going to be like your vertical up and down, side to side uh, sprayer. Uh, this one is another like a mister, like or a direct trigger spray. Um, this is a brass fitting. Uh, I, I'm probably going to use the brass fitting when I do the... Uh, a freaking dove just almost flew at me. Uh, when I do the grass dye. Um, and then it came with this badass. It looks like a... Uh, I don't know. Like something from Star Wars. Uh, I'll have to find a purpose for this one. Maybe when you're doing like a foliar feeding of like the lawn or something maybe. I don't know. Uh, it's really neat though. It's badass looking. I wish there... Uh, one cool thing I maybe would recommend... So like Petra, that would be nice, and uh, I don't know if they thought of this, and uh, I'm going to submit this video to them, is maybe like a quick connect adapter here. Like a quick connect adapter to here, and maybe here, so you could just pop this off and put this guy on, you know what I mean? Instead of having to unscrew it, just like a quick connect, and you go from here to here. I don't know if that's doable or not, uh, but that would be kind of neat. But it's not necessary, but that would be kind of cool, I think. I actually really like their bags. I keep the bags. Uh, a lot of them, a lot of these things come with like cheap, uh, clear Ziploc bags, and these are actually pretty sturdy. So I end up holding on to these bags and reusing them for stuff. I put uh, seeds in them. Um, you put your extra O-rings in there. Uh, your your scrunch. This is like a scrunch, a screwdriver wrench. Um, this would be like if you need to prime the pump. The the sprayers come pre-primed. Uh, they come pre-primed. You can actually see there was water in this. Uh, so they tested it at the factory before they sent it out. Uh, if you are having issues priming, what you want to do is uh, fill your tank with warm water and like a Blue Dawn soap and just turn it on. And it'll pretty much prime itself. Uh, I, I had one where I had a little bit of an issue with it. Um, and it took a little bit, maybe like 15, 15 minutes. But I put like a gallon of warm water and uh, some soapy, some soap in there, some soapy, uh, some soap in it, and it ended up uh, I'm mean, really quick actually. I've got the charger right here. What I'm gonna do is uh, charge this all day, and then in the evening we're gonna go ahead and do a foliar spray. And my normal routine, I'll walk you all through it. To charge it, all you need to do is open this little door and plug in your charger. All right, so we got it charging. You got it plugged in. You can see the red light right here on the little box is red, so it shows that it's charging. Uh, I believe it. I believe the light turns off completely or turns green whenever it's fully charged. So we'll let it charge the rest of the day, and we'll come back in the evening and see how it goes. All right, so we're in the backyard. And we got the sprayer sitting in kind of the middle of the yard. What we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here and we're gonna turn it on. We're just going to flip the switch. That's going to give you the max PSI. You can hear the pump going. And what's really cool about this is this awesome hose reel. Because I can literally walk into the garden. I can pretty much get every inch of the garden. We can even extend the wand and get up here into the hanging baskets. Look at that reach. So you come up here getting the hanging baskets. You come up underneath, you get underneath the leaves, try to get those aphids. 
And heck, I can probably even reach the other side of the greenhouse. I have to make one pass. Look at that. Nice even flow. Everywhere. Wow. I love it. See how far we can reach. So far we can reach with this. So I used to have to roll my sprayer around with me, and uh, now I got this hose. Yeah, I can literally reach my entire yard with that tent. Now, I still probably got 25 feet left. I love this long lawn because I can reach all the way to the top of this tree. Yeah, this is going to be a game changer, man. Wow. It's got a real high pressure volume that comes out. Still getting that good misting. Oh uh, man, that is beautiful. Especially on these apple trees. I got these new apple trees and uh, they can be pretty, you know, hot spots for pets. So I mean, it's a really good idea to go ahead and do like a, and it, you know, get on a spraying schedule to deter those Japanese beetles and you know, just those nasty critters and get after your, your apples. Yeah, look. Look at that. Yeah, this, this'll get everything. Alright, so now that we're done, we're just gonna turn it off. I gotta say, I really love this hose reel. So all I gotta do is you wanna make sure you keep it tight. Because I would I would say if you had that much coming back and it wasn't tight, you might have an issue. But you know, just like your ho regular water hose, you wanna keep it. A tight roll but the handle is nice and big and the reel is decent size too um, but the hose isn't too like big and bulky it's nice it's really nice actually not doing a great job this is my first time rolling this up so coming some slack but yeah there you go so overall the Petra tools HD 1200 beast sprayer uh, is really nice I, uh, I used it Tonight, I will use it every week um, going forward. It's going to make my life so much easier. The only two things I wish they'd have done a little different was the way they uh, shipped it with the uh, bubble wrap around the frame. It was kind of a pain in the butt. And the other thing that I noticed when I was pulling it back here is that the handle, if you look right here, the handle is kind of low. And so I wish the handle was like maybe a foot taller like a dolly would be. And give you a little bit more leverage because when this is full that tank is pretty heavy um, and I'm a big dude and so if it was a little bit higher it would give you a lot more leverage when you're pushing or pulling it uh, but once you get it back here I mean you don't have to move it at all my, in my backyard anyway um, so I love it and for $4.99 I mean that's a really good deal uh, I would highly encourage this to someone who's like a serious grower uh, if you just have a small garden there's probably some smaller options that Petra has, like the three gallon backpack. Um, but for someone like me who's got a ton of plants, who's growing a lot of stuff in their backyard, this is this is awesome. I'm gonna tell my buddy Jorge about this. He's got a nursery and uh, I think he'll love it. So highly recommend it. And uh, y'all check out Petra Tools. They are, they are awesome, they're killing it. Nice big right there. Especially right here with these cucumber beetles, they've been no, they've been cucumber beetles have been bad this year. So I'm gonna definitely get some of these guys sprayed. Come on this way. So 
That's not a little lap. Six gallons? One side is in metric, one side is in gallons. All right, so now that we're done, we're just going to turn it off. I got to say, I really love this hose reel. So all I got to do is, you want to make sure you keep it tight. Because I would, I would say if you had that much coming back and it wasn't tight, you might have an issue. But, you know, just like your ho regular water hose, you want to keep it a tight roll. But the handle is nice and big, and the reel is decent size too. Um, but the hose isn't too, like, big and bulky. It's nice. It's really nice actually. Not doing a great job. This is my first time rolling this up, so come me some slack. But yeah, there you go. Um, come this side. So overall, the Petra Tools 1200, so overall the Petra Tools HD 1200 Beast Sprayer uh, is really nice. I, uh, I used it tonight. I will use it every week um, going forward. It's going to make my life so much easier. The only two things I wish they'd have done a little different was the way they uh, shipped it with the uh, bubble wrap around the frame. It was kind of a pain in the butt. And the other thing that I noticed when I was pulling it back here is that the handle, if you look right here, the handle is kind of low. And so I wish the handle was like maybe a foot taller like a dolly would be and give you a little bit more leverage because when this is full, that tank is pretty heavy um, and I'm a big dude and so if it was a little bit higher it would give you a lot more leverage when you're pushing or pulling it uh, but once you get it back here I mean you don't have to move it at all my, in my backyard anyway um, so I love it and for $4.99 I mean that's a really good deal uh, I would highly encourage this to someone who's like a serious grower uh, if you just have a small garden there's probably some smaller options that Petra has like the three gallon backpack um, but for someone like me who's got a ton of plants, who's growing a lot of stuff in their backyard, this is this is awesome. I'm going to tell my buddy Jorge about this. He's got a nursery, and uh, I think he'll love it. So, highly recommend it. And uh, y'all check out Petra Tools. They are they are awesome. They're killing it.